When you think of a major epidemic affecting the entire world, which game story comes to mind? Of course, Left 4 Dead. I used to wonder, what if the world were overrun by zombies? What if I had to fight them off with close friends or other people? Thoughts and questions like, what would happen if there were an infection and the world was filled with zombies? Intrigued me. This pandemic may be bad, but do you know when the best time for a pandemic is? When we have nothing left to lose, absolutely. I'm Nucron, and today's topic is Left 4 Dead. Get your tea and cola ready, and let's get started. Most of us have played the Left 4 Dead series with our friends in internet cafes at least once. While diving into the fast-paced action of the game and shooting zombies, we might not have paid much attention to the story presented to us. Unlike other companies, Valve doesn't explain the story with clear-cut scenes. Instead, it expects the player to piece together the fragments within the game. Over the years, as I played this game, I occasionally became curious about its story. What were the stories behind these characters and zombies? In this video, I'll briefly tell you the story of the characters and zombies in the Left 4 Dead series. So, let's dive into the video. At the beginning of Left 4 Dead a virus that spreads in the United States starts infecting people, taking control of them and turning them into zombie-like creatures. To prevent panic, authorities claimed that this epidemic was just a simple flu and named the virus the Green Flu. However, as the days passed, the virus spread rapidly, and people began to turn into zombies. Only a few people were unaffected by the epidemic, some were even immune to the virus. These four people are the heroes of the game. The first is Bill, a Vietnam War veteran. He is an old soldier who was permanently injured from a knee wound he sustained during the Vietnam War. Years later, when he went to the hospital for knee surgery, he witnessed a nurse becoming infected with the virus and killing all the hospital staff and patients. Defending himself, he fought back against the nurse, returned home, put on his old uniforms, and prepared to survive. He is the oldest and also the leader of the group. Another member of the group, Zoe, was a university student. When Zoe returned to her family, she found that her mother had turned into a zombie due to the infection. Zoe's father, after killing all the infected zombies and her infected mother to protect his daughter, realizes he is also injured and will turn into a zombie. His last request is to die before turning into one. Zoe, telling her father she loves him, pulls the trigger and kills him. However, a few weeks later, Zoe discovers that her father was actually immune and that she killed him in vain. Another survivor is Francis, a biker who frequented bars. Two days after the outbreak began, while relaxing in a bar, his girlfriend turned into a zombie and attacked him, but his friend saved him. As the outbreak grew, they armed themselves and took refuge on the roof with his friends. After his friends were killed by zombies, he began searching for a way to survive and eventually met the group. Luis worked as a systems analyst at a company before the outbreak. Two days after the outbreak began, he encountered an infected person in the office restroom and managed to kill him. Upon leaving the restroom, he noticed the chaos in the office and realized that the world had turned into a fight for survival due to the virus. Somehow, he managed to survive and join the group. He is one of the most optimistic among the other survivors. After crossing paths and banding together, our group realizes that the zombies have started to mutate and turn into special creatures. These special creatures are much more dangerous than ordinary zombies. Let me briefly explain them. Boomer. A zombie whose body has deformed after mutation. Usually, overweight people turn into this type. They vomit on people, causing other zombies to attack them. Hunter. A very agile zombie with enhanced jumping abilities. Hunter is not blind, and due to the mutation, its legs have stiffened, allowing it to move very quickly. Smoker. A mutated zombie that uses its tongue to try to strangle survivors. When killed, it leaves a cloud of smoke behind. Theories suggest that before becoming infected, Smoker had tongue or throat cancer. When mutated, its cells continue to multiply, resulting in multiple tongues throughout its body. Charger. A zombie whose right arm has evolved significantly after mutation. However, its left arm has not developed to the point of being usable. Jockey. Due to infection, the muscles in its neck and upper back have developed abnormally. Its fingers and toes have elongated. Mutations have caused it to completely lose its mind, and it frequently laughs. Spitter, a creature that expels acid produced in its body due to mutation. Tank. A mutated infected with an unusually high increase in muscle mass. From the tattoo on its chest, 
we learn that it was a marine. Due to the virus, it mutated, lost its mind, and turned into a mass of muscle. Which, one of the strongest zombies, who sits quietly crying. If you stand nearby and she senses you, she will attack with great force. Theory suggest that which experienced an accelerated version of arachnodactyly, spider finger syndrome, due to the mutation. The best and most logical thing to do is to quietly walk past her and continue playing. Returning to the story of the game, our group of survivors, who have now banded together, must reach the evacuation point on top of Mercy Hospital. After many attempts, they make it to the hospital's roof, send a message via radio, and successfully call for a helicopter. Once on the helicopter, they realize that the pilot is infected, and the pilot is killed by Zoe. After safely getting off the helicopter, the team arrives at Riverside Village, the evacuation center. They try to establish contact with one of the survivors in the village, but this person has already become paranoid and doesn't trust them. The team crosses to the other shore by boat, and seeing a plane flying overhead, they think it might be used for evacuation and decide to pursue it. When the plane lands to refuel, the pilot says he will take them aboard if they help. They assist the pilot, and they are supposed to take off together with the plane. However, not long after, the plane crashes. Our team starts walking towards Echo, possibly the last remaining evacuation point. When they arrive in the area, they send a message to the military via radio, and a vehicle is sent for them. To reach the safe zone, they must cross a bridge, and for that, they need to activate three powerful electrical generators. However, the last generator breaks down and needs to be restarted. When the generator is restarted, the bridge begins to move, and the person who restarted the generator is left behind, becoming prey for the zombies. The group leader, Bill, sacrifices himself to restart the generator. The remaining members of the group cross the bridge and reach the safe zone. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. You can share your thoughts about the Left 4 Dead game in the comments. See you next time. We just crossed the street. Let's not throw a party till we're out of the city.